Welcome to another episode of The Cynical Writer. Before we get started, I just want to remind everyone that the best way to support this channel is to purchase my books. And I've left some links in the description section in case you're interested. Now, um, this is going to be an episode where I'm going to talk about why I haven't really gone into screenwriting, despite the fact that at times I've been very tempted to go into screenwriting, because it is an art form that I'm interested in. I've uh, actually read uh, several several screenplays and own uh, several uh, screenplays, but there is a multitude of reasons for why I haven't really pursued screenwriting. Um, for one, is that a screenplay really isn't a finished a finished work of art. It is only a blueprint for a movie. Um, a screenplay is really, in many ways, just an instruction manual that uh, that a director will take and then will use to make their movie. And a director is under no obligation uh, to uh, follow the wishes of the screenwriter or to follow their creative vision. Um, the director can basically do uh, with it whatever they want. And that's another reason that I really don't uh, want to be a screenwriter, because screenwriters are really treated like hired hands. They're not treated like artists. If uh, a screenwriter, for example, is uh, working on a script for a movie, and um, the producer decides, you know, I don't like what that screenwriter is doing. Well, then that producer will fire that screenwriter and bring in another screenwriter, and that's how a lot of movies end up being uh, total messes, because um, screenwriters are are seen as interchangeable. So that's another reason that I don't want to be a screenwriter, is I want to be seen as an artist, not as someone who is, uh, I guess you could say, uh that you can kick around and say, okay, well, well, if uh, I don't like what you're doing, then I'll just get somebody else. I definitely don't want to be a part of that game. I'm not going to uh, play that game. And I also don't want to be involved in the Hollywood system where I'm constantly having to kiss up to people or or try to uh, make friendships with people just so, I, just so I can get a movie deal or something like that. I mean, that would be... That would be two-faced. I mean, I really don't like it, for example, when uh, some people say, well, if you want to get a movie deal or something like that, then you need to um, kiss up to uh, certain uh, producers. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I, I don't want to be fake and pretend to be someone's friend just so I can get something out of it. I mean, that would not be very genuine of me, so I don't want to do that. And now, of course, someday I would like to uh, direct my own movie if I uh, ever get the chance. Now, how I would go about doing that, I have no idea. Now, under those circumstances, I would write the screenplay for it, but again, I have no idea how I would do that. Uh, a few years ago, I mean almost 10 years ago now, I can't believe it's already been that long, I did make uh, some short films, which I uh, posted uh, to YouTube with just myself, <laughs> and um, I wrote a script for one of those films and uh, not the uh, not the other. Um, well, the well the the short films were, were called like uh, it was Capitalism Has Failed and then Capitalism Has Failed uh, Part Two or, or was it called Poverty Stricken American? I can't remember what the sequel was called, but um, they're both on YouTube. But uh, if you go down um, to when some of my first videos were posted, you'll find uh, both of those. Uh, short films. Of course, since I only had myself, um, I couldn't really, uh, I couldn't really do a whole lot, and so the the short films were filmed kind of in a vlog uh, type uh, style, where I pretended to be a guy who was, uh, who was, uh, gre uh, who was, I guess you could say, recovering from, from a divorce, and, um, and uh, and ultimately, it's just about my suffering and all of that. Now, I did get a guy that I was going to uh, college with at the time who was not a professional actor at all to uh, play another character on um, voicemail on a on a voice speaker. So that was uh, pretty cool. But um, for the most part, though, you can't really make a lot of uh, movies if you're if you're doing it alone. So uh, making a movie uh, requires uh, a lot of money and uh, a lot of patience and a lot of time, and it's just that I, I have n no idea how I would go about doing that as an independent filmmaker, because 
if I did ever decide uh, to make uh, an, an independent film, because uh, the the kind of movies that I, I want to make, I could not do it within the Hollywood system, is that I would want to do it right. I wouldn't want to half-ass it by making uh, something that I'm not really proud of or uh, something like that. I would want to write a very, I guess you could say, literate script and have people who I think uh, have real ability uh, play the characters, which that's why I couldn't use non-professional actors or uh, something like that because it just wouldn't work. And um, I have, again, I have no idea how, though, I would acquire the resources uh, to do that. It is something that I would like to do uh, someday. Um, I mean, it might uh, take me uh, 10 or 20 years or, or more uh, to do something like that. And, uh, but I, would de- I definitely would like to make a film before I die, <laughs> and uh, uh, certainly. Now, I don't know if, I, even if I had the ability, if I would want to be a movie director on a regular basis, because I'm an introvert, and if I had to, uh, I, I guess you could say, uh, command an entire crew and tell them what to do, and they're all looking to me for uh, support, um, that that might end up being a total disaster because because I'm not the kind of person who could handle that kind of pressure on a regular basis, and so uh, th- that would be very difficult for me. I'm now I could I could perhaps co-direct a movie with someone possibly, um, that might work out, but I don't know if I could uh, be a movie director on a regular basis. Of course I don't I really can't really make uh, an estimation about about that until I actually direct a movie and see how it goes, and um, but I probably won't do that for many many years uh, if at all. So those are my thoughts on uh, screenwriting and uh, and filmmaking. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, my uh, speech for today. Um, if you would like to support this channel, you can check out my books in the description section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, goodbye.